Good evening, everybody. I'm Pastor Michael coming to you here on Friday night. You might notice a bit of a change of scenery from the last several uh, nights of Vespers for me. Um, and I'm grateful that today I would, the doctors tell me I can leave quarantine um, after having served my time, if you will. And I'm feeling very well, doing very well, have no symptoms, um, and I'm very grateful for uh, for the Lord to the Lord for uh, blessing me and my family through this, and we're doing quite well. We continue to remember in prayer those who haven't fared well as well, and uh, we're praying for their healing and praying for all of you as well uh, here on this on this Friday night. Um, and but want to continue with our vespers in a different background, and I'm happy to be able to do that with you tonight and reflect on a words a song we used earlier. But a different, uh, same song, Joe to the World, but a different phrase. Often these songs have several phrases in them that are meaningful and significant and could, uh, could use some more analysis and some thinking about. But today we're back with the song, Joy to the World, and the phrase, let every heart prepare him room. Um, it's said a couple times in that song. And as I leave my own room um, that I've been stuck in for the last 11 days or so, I'm reminded that our house is, was quite large, and uh, I'm grateful to be able to have the space to do that, to separate myself from the rest of the family so that they could stay safe uh, during this time, and they did, and that I could uh, be away from them but still carry about my tasks in a pretty much normal way, um, and I'm very grateful for that opp opportunity. Um, but uh, and, I, and I often think that's the picture that we get when we think about that phrase, let every heart prepare him room. That there's just a little spot in our hearts that we need to make room for Jesus so that he can just kind of squeeze in a little bit. Uh, prepare him room, make him a space um, in our lives and, and in, our, in our hearts. And I, while well, that's true in a certain sense, but uh, really what the scriptures talk about is that um, God deserves, Jesus deserves our whole heart, and that's what he's after. In fact, he says as much when the Pharisees ask him that question. A teacher of the law comes to him and says, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus says, love the Lord your God with all your heart. Um, so when we think about that, let every heart prepare him room, what that really means, I think, is get everything else out of there and let the Lord rearrange the room of your heart, if you will, the way he wants to. That's what Jesus has come to do. It's to rearrange the room of our heart in any way that he sees fit for his glory, as we talked about yesterday, Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Um, so when we sing that phrase, uh, let every heart prepare him room, or when the next time maybe you sing that phrase or think about it, maybe you'll have just a little bit different picture in your minds that, hey, this is just not creating a little space for Jesus to, to, to enter into. No, he is literally emptying out my heart and filling it up with the good things that he provides uh, through the grace of his son, Jesus Christ, born on Christmas morning. And so indeed, let every heart prepare him all the room. Would you join me in prayer? Father, we come to you on this Friday night and thank you for, your, for this day. And that you do indeed ask us to prepare room in our hearts for you. But not just a little bit of room, but prepare the rooms of our hearts. So may we have space for you all of it, to love and serve you and to give you the glory. And may we love you with all our heart and soul and mind and strength, because you came at Christmas. Joy to the world. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. Amen. Good night, and God bless you.